In pursuit of oil, man goes to the tundra, climbs mountains and conquers the seabed. But oil does not always give up without a fight, and as soon as a person loses vigilance, the black gold turns into a real black death for all life. This is what happened relatively recently in the Gulf of Mexico, where the ultra-modern Deepwater Horizon oil platform dealt a crushing blow to nature and human self-esteem. Object, the Deepwater Horizon oil platform, 80 kilometers off the coast of Louisiana, USA, Gulf of Mexico. The ultra-deepwater oil platform was leased by BP to develop the prospective Macondo field. The platform was 112 meters long, 78 meters wide and 97.4 meters tall. It was 23 meters underwater and weighed over 32,000 tons. Date, April 20, 2010, 2149 local time. Number of victims, 13 people died, 11 of them died in the fire and two more died during elimination of consequences. 17 people received injuries of varying degrees of severity. Causes of the disaster Major disasters don't have only one cause, as the explosion of the Deepwater Horizon oil platform confirmed. The accident was the result of a whole chain of irregularities and technical malfunctions. Experts say that the disaster on the platform was bound to happen, and it was only a matter of time. Interestingly, there were several parallel investigations into the causes of the accident, which led to different conclusions. The report made by BP pointed out only six main causes of the accident, while the main cause of the accident was identified as human error. A more authoritative report by the Bureau of Energy Management, Regulation and Protection of the Ocean BOMRA, and the U.S. Coast Guard points to 35 main reasons, and 21 of them were attributed to BP. So who is to blame for the Deepwater Horizon explosion and subsequent environmental disaster? The answer is simple BP, which was chasing profits and in this pursuit neglected elementary safety rules and deepwater drilling technology. In particular, well cementing procedures were violated, and specialists who came to analyze the cement were simply kicked off the rig. Important monitoring and safety systems were also disabled, so no one knew what was really going on under the ocean floor. The result was an explosion and fire on the platform, a huge oil spill, and the title of one of the biggest environmental disasters in the history of civilization. Chronicle of Events the problems on the platform began almost from the first day of its installation, i.e., from the beginning of February 2010. The drilling was done in a hurry, and the reason was simple and trivial. The Deepwater Horizon platform was leased by BP and each day it cost half a million dollars. However, the real trouble began in the early morning hours of April 20, 2010. The well had been drilled and reached a depth of just over 3,600 meters below the surface, the ocean was 1.5 kilometers deep at the site, and it remained only to complete the cementing of the well to securely seal off the oil and gas. The process is simplified as follows. The special cement is fed into the well through the casing, then the drilling mud, which displaces the cement and makes it rise up the well. The cement hardens quite quickly and creates a reliable plug. And then seawater is pumped into the well, which washes out the drilling mud and any debris. A large protective device is installed on top of the well a preventer, which, in case of oil and gas leakage, simply cuts off their access to the top. Since the morning of April 20, cement had been pumped into the well, and by lunchtime the first cement plug reliability tests had already been conducted. Two specialists flew to the platform to check the quality of cementing. The testing was supposed to last about 12 hours, but the management, who could not wait any longer, decided to abandon the standard procedure, and at 2.30 p.m. the specialists and their equipment left the platform, and soon the drilling mud began to be pumped into the well. Suddenly, at 6.45 p.m., the pressure in the drill string rose sharply, reaching 100 atmospheres in a few minutes. This meant that gas was leaking from the well. 
At 7.55 p.m., however, water injection was started, which simply should not have happened. Water was pumped for the next hour and a half, with varying degrees of success, as the pressure spikes forced an interruption. Finally, at 9.47 p.m. the well gave way, gas rushed up the drill string, and at 9.49 p.m. there was a catastrophic explosion. In 36 hours the platform was tilted up and safely sunk to the bottom. The Aftermath of the Explosion The accident on the oil platform turned into an environmental disaster, the scale of which is simply amazing. The main cause of the ecological disaster was an oil spill. The oil from the damaged well, as well as the accompanying gases, had been flowing continuously for 152 days, until September 19, 2010, and during that time the ocean waters accepted over 5 million barrels of oil. This oil caused irreparable damage to the ocean and many coastal areas in the Gulf of Mexico. In all, oil contaminated nearly 1,800 kilometers of coastline, white sandy beaches turned into black oil fields, and the oil slick on the ocean surface was visible even from outer space. The oil caused the death of tens of thousands of marine animals and birds. Tens of thousands of people fought the consequences of oil pollution. The black gold was collected from the surface of the ocean by special ships, skimmers, and the beaches were cleaned only manually modern science cannot offer mechanized means to solve this problem, it is so complicated. The main consequences of the oil spill were eliminated only by November 2011. The accident had not only environmental, but also enormous, and most negative, economic consequences. BP lost about $22 billion, including losses from the loss of the well, payments to victims and costs to clean up the consequences of the disaster. But the coastal areas of the Gulf of Mexico suffered even greater losses. This is associated with the collapse of the tourist sector, who will go on vacation to the dirty oil beaches, with the prohibition of fishing and other fishing, etc. The oil spill left tens of thousands of people out of work who had nothing to do with the oil itself. However, the disaster also had some very unexpected consequences. For example, while studying the oil spill, bacteria were discovered feeding on the oil products, unknown to science. These bacteria are now thought to have significantly reduced the impact of the disaster by absorbing huge amounts of methane and other gases. It is possible that based on these bacteria, scientists will be able to create microorganisms that in the future will help to quickly and cheaply deal with oil spills. Current Situation No work is currently being done at the site of the Deepwater Horizon platform's demise. However, the Macondo field, which was developed by BP with the help of the platform, stores too much oil and gas, about 7 million tons, so new platforms will definitely come here in the future. However, the same people BP employees will be drilling the seabed. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. Write in the comments about what else interesting you can tell about this video. See you in the new video.